Constantine I, also known as Constantine the Great, was born in Nisus, in the province of Moesia Superior, circa 272 CE, to Helena, a tavern maiden, and Constantius Chlorus, a military officer under Emperor Diocletian. In 293 CE, as part of Diocletian's Tetrarchy, Constantius was appointed as Caesar, or junior emperor, under the senior emperor Maximian. Constantine was sent east, possibly as a hostage, where he rose through the ranks, serving under emperors Diocletian and Galerius. Diocletian's Tetrarchy was a system of government initiated by Roman Emperor Diocletian to address the administrative and defensive challenges faced by the large Roman Empire. The word Tetrarchy derives from the Greek tetrarchia, which means leadership of four. Diocletian's aim was to establish a government system that could effectively administer the vast territory of the empire and respond promptly to military threats on multiple fronts. Under this system, power was divided between two senior emperors, or Augusti, and two junior emperors, or Caesars. Each emperor would rule over a quarter of the empire, effectively a quadrant. When Diocletian and Maximian abdicated in May, 305 CE, Galerius became Augustus of the East, and Constantius became Augustus of the West. Constantine joined his father in Britain, and was with him when he died in July, 306 CE in Eberachum, now York. Constantine was declared emperor by his father's troops, but the Tetrarchy fell into chaos as different factions vied for power. In 312 CE, Constantine lead an army against rival Maxentius. The accounts of Constantine's vision and dream prior to the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 CE are somewhat confused and debated among historians due to differing historical accounts. According to Lactantius, a Christian writer and advisor to Constantine's son who wrote several years after the battle, Constantine was directed in a dream to mark the heavenly sign of God, interpreted as the Chai Ro symbol, on the shields of his soldiers before going into battle. However, a different account comes from Eusebius of Caesarea, a historian and bishop who wrote the life of Constantine after Constantine's death. Eusebius claims that Constantine and his entire army saw a cross of light in the sky above the sun, with the words, in this sign conquer, often rendered in Latin as in hoc signo vinces, on the day before the battle. Then in a dream, Christ appeared to Constantine and explained that he should use the sign of the cross to win battles. Regardless, Constantine won the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in October, 312 CE, and he attributed his victory to the Christian God. In 313 CE, Constantine and Licinius, the Eastern Emperor, issued the Edict of Milan, establishing religious tolerance across the empire. Prior to the Edict of Milan, Christianity was often persecuted within the Roman Empire. The Edict proclaiming that each individual is given the ability to worship freely so that whatever divinity that resides in heaven may be appeased, effectively ended these persecutions and granted all persons freedom to worship whatever deity they chose, thereby legalizing Christianity. It also ordered the restitution of property confiscated from Christians. Between 314 and 324 CE, a series of civil wars ensued, with Constantine and Licinius vying for control. Constantine emerged victorious at the Battle of Chrysopolis on September 324 CE, becoming the sole ruler of the Roman Empire. Constantine initiated many administrative, financial, social and military reforms to strengthen the empire. His most notable achievements include the reformation of the coinage system and the construction of a new capital city, Constantinopolis, Constantinople, on the site of Old Byzantium. He presided over the First Council of Nicaea in 325 CE, a significant event in Christian history, which resulted in the Nicene Creed, a central doctrine of Christian faith. Constantine is venerated as a saint in the Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox and Byzantine Catholic churches. The Byzantine liturgical calendar lists him as a saint, with his feast day celebrated on May 21st. In the Western Church, however, Constantine was not canonized and is not considered a saint, although his mother, Helena, was. Despite his reforms, it's important to note that Constantine was baptized only on his deathbed by Eusebius of Nicomedia, a bishop known for Arian sympathies, in 337 CE. This has led to debate about his true religious convictions. Constantine died in May 337 CE and was succeeded by his three sons, 
Constantine II, Constantius II, and Constans. Constantine the Great is remembered for his significant role in the Christianization of the Roman Empire, setting the stage for the rise of the Byzantine Empire in the East and the eventual predominance of Christianity in the Roman world.